Hello guys, Dando here. Today we're doing a bit, a bit of Black Ops 2 gameplay um, with my sniper. I do quite well, do well, do decent. But that's not what the video is about today. The video is about the Black Ops 3 perks. There's a couple that have been confirmed and I, I want to go on to talk about which ones I would like to see. And um, also there'll be the E3 the E3 thing, I think it's in like Los Angeles or something, uh, that we'll be doing a lot more on this, so there'll be a lot more information coming around June uh, June 16th, 18th sorry about the yawn um, but yeah right, the two confirmed perks first of all are Dead Silence and Scavenger, and um I'm not sure why these any of these two perks have been confirmed, I, uh, well Dead Silence is a really big one to a lot of people, a lot of people that play things like um, uh, high up games like in MLG or anything like that uh, they will have to use Dead Silence because of the headsets nowadays they're just like amazing at hearing things and with like Dead Silence you are very vulnerable to just sound altogether and um, also Scavenger, I'm not sure why they decided to uh, do Scavenger because it's not like it's really important and it has been in quite a few of the CODs but um, but they haven't actually released the information about it and it might, some on some of the Scavenger games, well some of the games that have had Scavenger on it, it has picked up uh, equipment as well like if you can restock your frag or something like that but I'm not sure if this one will uh, and we haven't really found anything like that out yet so that's still good to be confirmed um, now into the perks so that I would like to see as a, I have like a thing I've decided that there shouldn't be any perks that uh, kind of like haven't what am I trying to say here let me think about Right, there shouldn't be any perks that you have to, should have to use. An example of this is like stopping power from Call of Duty 4 or uh, blast suppressor from the Advanced Warfare. Uh, without these two, you were limited like when you were in, in gunfights and you couldn't always do as well as you would like to because of a certain perk you're running. What I would like to see is these perks kind of even out. So there's not one more perk you have to run. It's kind of like you can choose whichever one you want, and it always gives you some kind of advantage, but it also gives you some kind of disadvantage, because it just makes it all fair. And there's like no certain perk that you'd have to use all the time to make you a better player. You can only run whatever perks you want, and I just think that'll make it so much better. Uh, there's a few, a few that I've um, thought of that I will, I imagine, will be in the game, and uh, I hope they are because they're kind of like important ones. And they're also probably going to be another video, maybe actually today. I might do two videos today. Uh, maybe tomorrow but um that'll be about the new knifing or hitting uh in black ops 3 i haven't actually done a video on it now i'm a bit behind but i'm going to start to get more updated with it all and i thought i'd make a video on it so people might be able to get my opinion and my thoughts on it but now into the perks there's a few i want to see they are something like sit rep if you don't remember what sit rep was it was called many different things there's um i can't think of them all but it's when you can see explosives of like through walls and um things like that so if there's like a say like a claymore around the corner you'll see a little red marker on your screen and you can see it around the corner and that's just what that perk does and um it was also it was always quite handy to run on stuff like search and destroy because you just always run into traps and it kind of like gives that like, gives you a uh, like a warning i guess about the traps ahead of you so yeah that's a handy perk and i imagine it will be i imagine it will probably be in the game or something like it uh, lightweight or marathon or both. Uh, lightweight always increases the speed, and uh, marathon is the one that actually la makes you last longer as when you start running. And I imagine one of these, if not both of these, will be in the new Call of Duty because they always have been. And for things like rushing on the search and destroy, you do need them. And uh, it's just one of them perks that you have to use, I reckon. Uh, something like steady aim I went for because a lot of snipers have just. Uh, need steady aim or use steady aim because it increases well it's not just snipers things like shotguns it really helps as well because you can't aim you don't always aim in with them it really it just it's the one that decreases the um hit fire or the spread of the hit fire so if you if you don't aim in it's still quite accurate or decently accurate and um yeah that's a really handy perk and always has been uh, the next one is UAV jammer. It's like the one I just I call it UAV jammer because it's just the easiest one. And there is UAVs in the new COD, so UAV jammer. And um, this is the one where you're not on the uh, no, you're not on the, uh, you. How have I forgot this? It's when you're not on the UAV. That's what it is. And um, I was thinking of one that makes you on the UAV. Makes you see other people on the UAV easier. But what you shouldn't mean you're not on the UAV, which is quite a cool one. And uh, the final one is increased explosive damage. I'm not 100% about this one. I'm not sure if I want to see it, but I think I do. 
And because uh, if I if all the perks are quite fair, then I feel like increased explosive damage would be one of the t like higher tier perks, which means you'd have to sacrifice something else good about it. But um, yeah, that's all for this video, guys. I'm sorry about leaving you on a black screen whenever the gameplay a little bit. But um, cheers, guys. This has been Dando. Make sure you subscribe, do whatever you want. Uh, leave a comment saying what perks you would like to see. Cheers, guys. Peace out for now.